Hey dumplings, it is me, Jen, aka Misplaced Moo. Welcome to my channel. This video is going to be all about how to prep your game for the Sims 4 upcoming patch. So if you want to know how to prep your game for the upcoming Sims 4 patch, stick on. Are you guys, we're going to get into it in one second, but I had to take a minute to show you my shirt, which I'm in love with. Just going to skip. Look at this. It's got a shark. It says free hugs. Is that not adorable? I'm living, living for the shirt. All right, you guys. So if you listen to what I say step by step, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do this. It will not mess up your game, and this will help you get through any patching easily. Because if you don't do what I say, your game might get a little effed up. Nobody wants that. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to your desktop. You're going to right click on your desktop anywhere. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And once that comes up, you're going to go into new and then you're going to go into folder. Now, once you're here, you're going to hit the delete button and then you're going to name this folder mods too. You can name it whatever you want to, but in essence, it's a temporary mods folder. So I'm going to call it mods too. I'm going to use a Z because I want to be like a cool kid. Okay, so now we have our mods to folder. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into your uh, this computer. So once you get into there, then you want to go into your documents right there. Once you're in your documents, then you want to look for electronic arts right there. Then you want to go into the Sims 4. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. See here, right here is your mods folder. This is where all your mods, your CC, your custom content, all of that stuff lives there. So what you want to do is you want to click on that. These are all my mods. So I'm going to just grab my right, I'm sorry, left click, left click of the mouse, drag down. Oh, I don't have that many mods in my mods folder. I thought I had way more than that. Now I know some of you are going to be like, but I have 8,000 mods in my mods folder. I know guys, I know, I know, I the struggle. But just do what I'm saying. I promise it'll be okay. So scroll down, select all of your mods. Then you want to hit cut. Please, please listen to me. Just hit cut. Don't hit copy. Don't drag. Just listen to your girl. Hit cut, then go back to your desktop. Then you want to go into your mods to folder right here and hit paste. Now, all of your mods have been removed from your Sims 4 game and they've been pasted into your separate mods folder. You don't have to put this mods folder on your desktop if you don't want to. You could put it on your in your documents folder, you could put it in your video file, wherever you want to put it. The only place you cannot put it is within your Sims 4 folder. So as long as it's not in that Sims 4 folder, you can put it wherever you want to put it. The next thing that you want to do is just open up your origin. So just go onto your computer and open that up. I'm just going to take a sippy sippy of my seltzer. I usually have coffee, you guys, but today I felt like having a seltzer. It's kind of warm. I'm using the polar kind, not sponsored. Um, there's my lipstick on it right there. <laughs> I probably should have had a straw. All right, you guys, so once your Sims opens up, the or I'm sorry, once your Origin opens up, it should automatically start downloading. So if you look at the very bottom um, left hand of the screen, you're gonna see Sims 4 Digital Devi Deluxe, and then if it's, it's, I had it paused right here because I didn't want it to like just totally go crazy town and finish before I could finish making this video because the mama got interrupted by a phone call. So I'm just gonna unpause it, and here you see it is just downloading the new patch, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But sometimes it doesn't do it automatically. Sometimes it doesn't let you know what's going on. So if that happens, don't worry, get you covered. All you need to do is go into your games library and then see here, it's going to give me a um, you know a progress report. It's 12% downloaded, so we won't be here for a while. But um, if you wanted to, if, if that wasn't happening and if it just looked like all the rest of the games here, um, there, there you could right click, on, I'm sorry, yeah, you could right click on it and then you're gonna get options and one of those options would be like download or update or something. It will say like update or download the latest content. So you could do it manually if it wasn't doing it itself. All right, 
So our files have downloaded. The next thing we want to do is go and check and see if our video card needs updating. Now I have a whole video about this and how to find your video card or your graphics card and how to update it and all that. So I'm going to put that video in the cards so you guys can find that. I have an NVIDIA video card so I'm going to go over here to my NVIDIA GeForce Experience because I have a GeForce and I'm going to pop that open because a lot of times when you update a video game you're going to have to update your graphics card. They're kind of interconnected. So I'm just going to go here and see what's what. You guys should do the same thing at this point once you've already had your patch fully installed. So I'm just going to go check and see. So far um, it doesn't look like there's any updates. I'm just going to check a Rooney. No. It looks, it looks pretty good. Okay so there's not any updates there, but I think you guys should check just in case. Okay, so we checked our video card. We saw whether or not it needed to be updated. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna boot up The Sims and just, we have one more step to do, so we're gonna just boot that up. I'll see you guys in a second when it's booted up. Booted up means to start it up, in case you guys don't know. All right, you guys, I just booted up my game. So, you may get a, a box in the middle of your screen that says like mods have been removed blah 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 that's okay that's totally normal because you did remove your mods so what we want to do now is we're going to go into our options menu options options game options you just want to check all these settings because sometimes things get a little like thrown off like your full screen get made put into windows thing crazy things happen so just make sure that all your settings are good i played my game in ultra baby so then you want to go into this section that says other and you're going to see here there's going to be a thing that says enable custom content and mods you want to make sure that that's clicked because whenever you do a patch update that gets reset to not enabled and if you don't have that enabled you're not going to be able to have mods and custom content in your game. So just make sure you click that. Make sure you apply the changes. And then we're going to restart our game. So just quit. Quit your game. Be a quitter. Alright you guys. Now that we shut down our game, we're back on our desktop. I know this is like probably taking a while you guys. So bear with me. I promise it's, it's going to be over soon. You want to go into your mods folder. You want to open that bad boy up. You want to left click and drag all the way down and then you want to cut and paste into your documents is that documents documents folder then you want to go to electronic arts and then you want to go to the sims 4 then you want to go to a mods then you want to just right click and hit paste and bam your mods are now back in your game all safe and sound snug as a bug in a rug Aww. Then you want to do is go back to sims and re-up your game re-up would that be yeah i guess re-up reload boot up restart something your game so that's what we're doing now we're going to restart our game all right guys so when i'm trying to restart my game i'm noticing that it's getting stuck or it's not starting so what i'm going to do to fix this situation is i'm just going to restart my computer so i will see you guys with a freshly restarted computer all right guys so we're almost done I just restarted my computer we're gonna we're gonna try to boot up the sims now and we're just going to press play and we're gonna see how it goes we'll see how we go so now we have our game booted up and we have this thing which looks real good and it just says there's mods in our game so that's like that's a good sign if you see that you're doing good so we're gonna actually just go into a game just to test it oh wait i went to the wrong thing darn it let's go to this girl yeah let's go to this girl we're just gonna play it we're gonna see it for we're looking for a couple of different things we're looking for if the game starts up that's one thing we're looking for if there's any kind of crashing or bugging so we're looking for that as well and uh, we're just gonna go in here and this is just something that you want to do now if you do have any crashing or anything like that then it may be because there's a mod that you need to erase and reinstall so what I would suggest at that point is getting all of your script mods together anything that changes the way the game plays not cc which is like hair and shirt and 
makeup and stuff, but stuff that like changes the way the game plays, get rid of that. Delete anything that has to do with that and then just re-download it all over again. It is kind of a pain in the neck, but it will help your game run smoothly. So we're just gonna play this game for like a couple of seconds. Hey girl, get out of the rain, girl. It's okay, boo, I got you, I got you. I know this house is like atrocious. It's my 1970s house. Part of my decades challenge, I did just upload the 1980s version, which looks a little bit better than this. I mean, this is a funk idyllic. So, so far, she's doing pretty good. I'm just gonna let her make herself something. Let's see, cook a garden salad, single serving. This is just gonna let me know if everything's running well, if you let them kind of run through a task. And if everything goes well, then she's gonna be in good shape. So that is pretty much it, you guys. This is running perfectly. Your game should be running perfectly as well. If you're still having problems after this, try updating your video card one more time because that might possibly be the culprit. But I hope this video was helpful to you guys, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up, because you guys... You guys, YouTube is a pain in the neck. And the way the algorithm works is if my videos don't get thumbs ups and comments and stuff, they're not going to be seen by anybody. And that's kind of sad, because I put a lot of work and effort into them, and I kind of want them to be seen by people. And if you found this helpful, other people might find it helpful too. So please give me a thumbs up, please give me a comment. If you like my face, and my voice, and my personality, and my content, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, you can do so by clicking that little red button, and hit the little bell when it pops up so that you're notified whenever I upload a video. If you really love me and you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so. There's a link below and you can join and become a patron. There's lots of benefits and things over there. I give early releases to all my content over there. And what else do I do over there? So I do a lot of stuff over there. If you're interested in that, you can go check that out. I would greatly appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget that I love you. And don't forget to live every week like it's shark week. All right, guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye.